Smack 19 have just about run out of opposition, so it was their idea that we run a contest to find a bit of competition for them. We thought, that sounds good, so we called together the best crews in the region to do battle in Sheffield, the centre of breaking. It's Smack 19 who set the standard, and they're our judges too. Here are the names of the eight crews you'll see battling over the next few weeks. The youngsters come from all over the region, but especially from South Yorkshire. Our man in the Students' Union building at Sheffield Polytechnic is Martin Kellner. Now, he can't tell freeze popping from a worm, but he can tell us more about what's going to happen. Hello! Hello and welcome to Sheffield Polytechnic. Huge excitement here tonight because it's heat one in the Sounds Good Breakdance Challenge. And Winston Hazel here is from Smack 19. Uh, Winston, Smack 19, you were telling me earlier on one of the best breakdance crews in the country, right? Yeah, that's right. That's what you were telling me anyway. Yes. <laughs> that's and right. uh, you're going to be one of the judges. What will you be looking for in the six crews that we have tonight? Well, we'll be looking for how original the moves are yeah. and um, the way that the crews present the routine or whatever they do. Right. And eventually the finalists will be uh, battling for these tracksuits that I'm actually wearing. That's right, yeah. That's right. They'll be battling for my clothing. And as you can see, if I can turn around and show you the back, very attractive YTV breakdance champion logo. Now, not just Winston here as the judges. We've got some of Winston's friends. The other judges, if we can call you on now, is Harold Bomber Graham. Can we have a round of applause for the judges, please? We have... We have... First of all... Local hero, Harold Bomber Graham, who is the former, let me get this right, the former British, European and Commonwealth That's light right. middleweight champion at boxing, not at breakdancing. Not at breakdancing, no chance. I can't even do it to save my life. We'll just uh, introduce some of the other judges. Carlos, you're from Smack 19. Yeah. Right, and you'll be uh, judging it with an expert's eye, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, and Stephen, just move on to Stephen very, very briefly. Stephen, also, you'll be bringing an expert's eye to bear on this tonight. Yeah. Fine. OK, well, you go into your judging positions. If you'd like to come off here with me, we'll go back. Let's have some more music. It's Positive Force from Sheffield. We're going to have a bit more dancing from the lads. What do you now for the first heat in the Sands Good Breakdance Challenge. Four heats, two semi-finals and a final. The first heat pitches together two very strong crews. It's the local crew, Positive Force, against one of the two crews from Bradford, Solar City Rockers. At Sheffield Poly, Martin Kellner. The guys we're talking to are Paul from uh, Positive Force in Sheffield. Paul, tell me, how long has your crew been together? For about one half years. Yeah, and in actual fact, you're a, an amalgamation of a couple of crews, is that right? Just two crews, there was only me and Steve, who broke off from Street Troll, the former crew, right. and we joined Positive Force. Do you find that happens a lot, groups sort of changing all the time? No, it's rare actually, because there's that much rivalry, but right. we did it anyway. OK, you're fairly confident about tonight's uh, yeah, challenge? Yeah, yeah. Right, well, the best of luck to you, Paul. We've got Steve here from uh, Solar City Rockers in Bradford. How long have you lot been together? We've been together about nine months now. Just nine months, so yeah. you've not had that long to get all your moves together? No. But you reckon you can beat this lot? Fairly confident. Fairly confident. All right, then we'll see just how good both of them are. If you want to rejoin your crews, that's Positive Force from Sheffield, Solar City Rockers from Bradford. If we can have some music, let's see them doing a bit of break dancing and bopping. Away we go. Right, Winston Hazel, my co-judge. Here we are in the uh, commentary position now, Winston. They've already got a fair bit of reaction, these two uh, crews. That's right, I think um, the two crews that are here tonight are pretty popular anyway. So they've got a lot of their friends in, as you can see. That's right, they've got a good following around the region. Yeah. yeah. Over the six weeks, we'll try and uh, introduce everybody to some of the technicalities. For yeah. instance, what's this move that we're, we're seeing? That's what there? Um, up north people call a flare or um, down south they call it a windmill. Yeah, so there's even uh, regional variations in breakdancing. That's right. Yeah. And you, you probably won't notice this, but they are starting the actual challenge at a high standard right. to see how far they can push each other. That's it, it's like a poker game, isn't it? They bid yeah. them up and uh, the moves right. get trickier and trickier and they try and uh, 
try and get the other group to, to even beat yeah. them with one. Yeah. 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 What's this one we're seeing now? Um, he's once again he's going into a flare. And his GC is using no hands. Well, that now is a cut above the other crew. Yeah. So that crew is going to have to come out now and either do the same move or better it with something different. He's really put the stakes up, hasn't he, really? Yeah. And he's, yeah. got to, uh, he's got to beat him on it. And you and your co judges, the other three, have got to decide uh, who's doing it best. Yeah, that's right. Right. You're going to have a job judging this one. We are, actually. That's right. That one's gone down well. Yeah, you're probably wondering why, um, why the crews, why the, the audience are cheering so much. Yeah. It's because a lot, of, a lot of good stuff done neatly looks very good. Yeah. I can hardly hear myself think here. You know, I mean, the audience are making such a lot of noise, whistles yeah. and everything. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And now they're having a bit of a rest. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's shoes come up. Yeah. Was that part of the routine, or was that just that an accident? Or by accident. That's just sure. an accident, is it? That looks good. And it looks like you're going to get a duo routine here. Ah, right. No, it's a threesome. Oh, we used to call it a leapfrog yeah, years this ago. Is what, this is what's called body breaking. This is body breaking. Yeah, that's right. And, and because they did it first, they got the they cheers for it. it. Whereas if the other crew did it first, then they would have got an equal amount of cheers. Right. So they can do theirs. Okay, now. I'll tell you what, Winston, if you want to go down with the other judges and do a bit of deliberating, right, okay. I shall go down and see this one. Rockers of Bradford, and it was very, very close, believe me. The winners of Heat One, and they go through to the semi finals. Don't forget, eight cruising is all together through to the semi finals from Sheffield. Positive force. <laughs> Unlucky Solar City Rockers. Positive force are our first semi finalists. They'll meet the winners of next week's Heat, Force Four from Huddersfield, and another Sheffield entry, Steel City Breakers. <laughs> Sheffield Polytechnic. If you were with us last week, you'll have seen Heat 1 in the Sounds Good Breakdance Challenge, which was won by Positive Force from Sheffield. We've just been watching the breakdancing and body popping of Mini Force from Bradford. If I can ask Paulette from Mini Force to come and join myself and uh, Winston, my uh, co judge here in the Breakdance Challenge. Winston, first of all, we don't see that many uh, female breakdance. Cruise. In fact, this was the only one that we got to enter it. Yeah, that's right. Uh, actually, what I think it is, a lot of them are scared that the, the actual moves now, what have to be done, will probably alter the shape. But I don't see why there's no... Right. For all that new weapons, that sort of breakdancing is not something that women like to do because it could uh, alter their shape. I don't really think so. I think they're just scared of it. for women doing breakdancing. Anyway, join us later on when we'll have two male breakdancing crews. We'll have Force 4 from Huddersfield and the Steel City Breakers from Sheffield. And what they'll be fighting it out to see is who is going to join Positive Force from Sheffield, who were last week's winner in that frantic heat we had here last week. Join us later on for more breakdancing. Let's get along to Sheffield Poly and meet this afternoon's two crews. Force 4 from Huddersfield and Steel City Breakers from Sheffield. There with Martin. Uh, first of all, I've got Clive here from Force 4. Clive, uh, you've got one little lad in your uh, in your crew, dressed differently from the rest. What's that all about? I couldn't get a taxi 
Couldn't be a chap. Smiling. Small yeah. enough. How, how old is he, the little lad? Twelve. Just 12 years old, so it doesn't really matter what age you are to break down, so no. any age will do. All right then, Clive, best of luck to you. Are you confident with Force 4 from Huddersfield? Yeah. Fairly confident. All right, quietly confident there. We'll move over to Michael, who's really confident, aren't you, Michael? Yeah. And you're from the Steel City Breakers in Sheffield. Yeah. Right. There's only three of you, four of them. Does that make a difference? No, not really. Not really. You reckon you can do it just as well with the three of you? Yeah. All right, well, let's see some tricky moves from the two crews tonight, Steel City Breakers from Sheffield, Force 4 from Huddersfield. Let's have the music, and away we go with more breakdancing. Oh. Right, so from the commentary position now with my uh, co-commentator here, Winston Hazel, expert break dancer from SMAP 19. Winston, we were talking about the youth of the dancers there. I mean, does that make a difference as far as you and the no, judges are concerned? No, not, not, not at all. Uh, um, age has got no preference to how good the, the actual body of the person who's doing it is. Yeah. Um, in actual fact, younger guys are a lot more agile than people are, say, 19, uh, 18 or 19. So obviously they're going to be able to pull, off, if not um, di different and more moves, the, the moves that are done better, really. They can twist the body around all over the place. Yeah, that's right. But as you can see now. Yeah. It's amazing what the human body can do, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. That's a good one. What's, what's that one there? That's um, why it's either a, a spasm move or a jump. A spasm move yeah. again, yeah. yeah. We mentioned that before, didn't we? A spasm that's right. Move. Well, there you've got... Um, that's the best example of a spasm that you'll ever get. Yeah. Last week, when you were just to guide people about the judging, you possibly forced one by one single move last week. Yeah, that's right. From, the, uh, yeah. from Sheffield. Was what was that? that? Was that one? It was the last move that Positive Force did right. that really got on the top. So, really, yeah. one excellent move can win the whole thing. That's right. Yeah. And that's what we're looking for. Yeah. This is, yeah. this is yeah. what's called body breaking again. And that one has really good the house down, hasn't it? These guys have got a popping routine to come out with. This is a popping routine, yeah. isn't it? That's right. Yeah. Basically, yeah. people don't know the difference between body popping and break dancing. Is body popping is just standing up and break dancing is yeah. when they go right. on the floor and do a bit of acrobatics, really. Yeah. That's what's called a worm. That's a worm, yeah. isn't it? That's a popular one, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it used to be used in... Um, in when you know poppers used to do it mainly, but a lot of breakers used them all yeah. now. And that a helicopter uh, that one? Isn't no, it? that was an attempt at head spin. Attempt at head spin. Really turn off. Didn't quite come off. Yeah. And that's a head spin that has come off, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 A perfect example that you get a head spin from someone of that age. Right. A one-handed glide or a hand spin. And he's, looks as though he's going to find it better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he's gone one better there, yeah, isn't right. he? He actually flared, flared off from the one-handed spin into um, the players. Right, I'll so tell you what we'll do. We'll go down and see uh, what the judges reckon to this. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Harold Bomber Graham, the, the uh, former British, European and Commonwealth light middleweight champion, it takes longer to read your title out than it does to say anything else. What did you think of the break? You're not an expert, are you? I thought it was great. They were very good competitors on each side, and I think they were very, you know, yeah. round about the same. And it's hard to find a winner, really, isn't it? Especially Definitely. when we think that we've got the Sheffield uh, lads who are the, uh, the local lads. Yes. All right, then, the moment of truth. Tell me, who have the judges decided on? Well, we're giving it to the Huddersfield guys. It's the Huddersfield just, guys. Just. just force four from Huddersfield, the winners of Heat 2. Can we have four songs? We'll be seeing dancing a little bit later on tonight. A body beats from Doncaster and two and two from Rotherham. And joining me here at the moment, we have Harold Bomber Graham, the former British European and Commonwealth mid light middleweight champion. I should think, uh, I'm getting better at this. Harold, you've been with us judging over the last couple of weeks, and I should think these guys sweat as much as you do, really, in the oh, ring. They do, I mean, amazing. We, we really sweat a lot in the gym, but these guys, I can't do what they do. You don't know, no, 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 you can do it. Right, well, all the best to you for later on. It's going to be hard again. Two good crews we've got uh, dancing for us a little later on. Winston, you're with us again. You're going to be commentating with me a little bit later on. What are you going to be looking for especially tonight? Uh, once originality and how well they present. Force four. Well, this evening, it's Body Beats of Doncaster against Two and Two of Rotherham. Today's winners will take on either Street Crew or Beat Street Boys, who will be battling next week. 
So, Doncaster against Rotherham from Sheffield Poly. The breakers are with Martin now. And your name is? Paul Blinkar. You're Paul, and you're from Buddy Beats in Doncaster. Are you fairly confident that yeah. you're going to win this challenge? You're brimming with confidence, aren't you? Yeah. You can't wait to get out there. Fairly young crew yours. What's the youngest member? Twelve. Just twelve years yeah. old. Right. Well, all the best to you. Okay. Best to you later on. That's Buddy Beats from Doncaster. We have from Rotherham two and two. Now, last time I reckoned two and two was four. I reckon there's uh, six of you lot from Rotherham. How did that come about? Well, it's just the name we're still weird, you know, originally. Right. You so know, it starts off with four, so we're two and two. It's carried on to six, so right. it's still weird. And you're confident as well? Yeah. OK. <laughs> we're just limbering up, testing each other out now. We'd say that's like finding out how far each crew are going to be able to get to for the challenge. It's like war, really, isn't it? It is. <laughs> it's the start with the little moves and then build up. Actually, um, it starts from when, back in the Bronx about seven years ago. That's in when New York. Yeah. We used to get um, street gangs coming together, wanting to fight each other. But um, the situation got really bad, you know, people getting caught up and things like that. Yeah. That they wanted a solution or a different way to battle for different parts of land. Yeah, so they started dancing against each other. Yeah, well, it's certainly more peaceful than uh, cutting each other up. Although, I'll right. just admit some of the looks that they give each other, you know. Yeah. If looks could kill, they would. <laughs> so they're testing each other right now with, um, in the Flare League. That's the Flare League, yes. Yeah. We've mentioned that before. Now this is popping, yeah? Now he's into break. No, no, he started off with um, dancing, what he actually saw in the before, is, is, is break dancing. Yeah. And um, when they go onto the floor, it's actually called breaking. Right. I think I'll keep quiet, actually, because <laughs> I find it very difficult to identify. He, he's now it? popping. He's popping. And that's he's called freeze popping, what he's doing there. That is freeze popping, yeah. right. There's, there's, there's so many different I styles. The, the popping doesn't seem to get the cheers from the audience, whereas the breaking does. Well, the popping is, 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 is the first kind of dance on the hip-hop scene, which is what all this is, all this is called. Right. Um, it was the first dance that came out, and people have just got used to it. So if you were doing something in popping now, it's got to be really different. So they're going to say, yeah, I've never seen that before. I think we've got to go and find out who the winners are now. So we'll go down and join the other judges. Judges here, Stephen Naylor. Stephen, another very difficult decision, right? What do you think of them? How good were those two? Well, uh, I'd like to say, first of all, that they were both good, but um, I think body beats were just ahead of them. Body beats were ahead. What made them slightly ahead? They were more organised and they were some more difficult moves as well. They did a few extra moves. Okay, well, let's explain the decision of the judges. So, the winner tonight of this particular heat is Body Beats from Doncaster. So can we hear it for Body Beats? Can we have some more music? Well done, Body Beats. Never mind two and two. One place left in the semi-final. And who goes through next week? Right, we've got Beach Street Boys from Bradford here. And this is Ian from Beach Street Boys. Hello, Ian. Can you come a, bit, a wee bit closer to me? That's it. Now, you're a TV veteran, really, aren't you, Ian? Yeah, well, recently, a couple of months ago, I was on the National Breakdancing Championship that was held on TV. Um, well, you didn't quite win it? No, I came second. You're hoping to do one better? Yeah, I hope so. Too. Right. So Ian from Beach Street Boys from Bradford. We'll move over to Nigel from Street Crew in Sheffield. Nigel, you were saying earlier on, he's already been on the telly. That makes him a bit of a poser as far as you're concerned. <laughs> <isn't it? That's laughs> no, what <you> said. <laughs> well, uh, I hope we win them, obviously, but they're a good crew. I respect they're them. They're a good crew. And you respect them, right? And you're going to take them on yeah. and show them who's boss. Yeah. All right, then. Well, we'll see what happens here. Let's have some music. Let's have some more breakdancing from Beach Street Boys from Bradford and Street Crew from Sheffield. There you go. Well, that's a good one to start with. The stakes really high here, Winston. That's right, Martin. They put it off to a pretty high standard start today with um, the crew from Bradford starting out with, they're starting out with a, a kind of body breaking routine but with, with, with on the floor yeah. and then Winston uh, Hazel from Smack and Smack 19 just to introduce you to those viewers who are familiar with it uh, one of the, just to draw your notice your attention to this uh, that just happened right. you know we're talking about flares or windows whatever they're called yeah. well um, 
what they just did just then to get such such an applause were while spinning round and whipping the legs around in the air they took one they both took the tops off as well right just next that uh, a mega cut so you didn't get no cheers for that because that was a normal flare right right yeah. yes i was just introducing you there as one of the sort of experts on break dancing in this area and uh, this really is a good heat isn't it that's right it's going to be really hard to do this one, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Presumably your co-judges, Harold and Carlos and Stephen are down there yeah. deliberating at the moment. That's right. When the, uh, when the break dancing happens in a club, uh, you don't have judging like this, do you? The crowd themselves decide who, who's won it, don't That's they? That's right, yeah. It's like to, today, um, if, if I went to the middle of the crowd after the challenge had finished and asked for a crowd decision, then obviously, well, obviously because it's in Sheffield, you get um, a Sheffield crew winning. But when it's on neutral ground and there's two neutral crews challenging, right. then you get a, a good decision. It really is like a battle, isn't it? Yeah. it is. This again is a good move. That's right. He's spasming there. This well, is a spasm, he's spasming to head spin. Right. And he lost his hat, but that doesn't matter, does it? No, it doesn't matter at all. This guy's starting off with a bit of break dancing. There's also gimmicking the other crew, which which um that, that goes for a lot of points in a break dance challenge. If you gimmick the other crew, and if you gimmick them well. Right. So I think it's pretty well time for us to be down there judging it, I can hardly hear myself think here. That's right. Let's go and see who's going to be the winners okay. now. Let's the judges. Carlos Coburn, one of the judges here tonight. They like that, I think. I know. It's very really difficult to see one this in you now. I should think it's extremely difficult. Why has that got such a good reaction tonight, the Beach Street Boys and the Street Crew? Why are they... No, got... they've both come out with some really good moves and they've all got their own different styles, so you can't really say I won this one because it's really difficult. All right, I know it's difficult, but we're going to have to find a winner. Just name a winner. I know it's going to be difficult, but both great crews. Who's won it? Street crew. Well, the winner of that heat, the winner of that heat after a very, very difficult decision is from Sheffield, Street Crew. Sheffield for semi-final day in the Sounds Good Breakdance Challenge. Got two semi-finals in this particular program. We've got Force 4 from Huddersfield who will be against Positive Force from Sheffield. They're ready to go. Later on, Body Beats from Doncaster against Street Crew from Sheffield. And eventually, we'll get... Right, here we are in the uh, commentary position with Winston Hazel, our expert. Winston will be looking for something extra special for the uh, semi-final. It looks like it started with that uh, worm. Yeah, I think uh, most people are, for a start, going to be able to see that what you can see there now is that the crew on the right, positive force from Sheffield, are much taller. Not necessarily meaning that they're older. And the crew on the left from Bradford are um, a, lot, a lot smaller and a lot younger. So people are going to be looking to see whether the um, Bradford crew could and match up with Huddersfield, yeah, yeah. Huddersfield could match up with Positive Force. Right. So they're really the underdogs, the Huddersfield crew? Not necessarily, but people are going to be thinking that until they prove otherwise. Right. It's interesting the way they watch the other, the other, the other crew. I mean, one crew does a bit, the other one watches. Yeah. Presumably to see if they can better it, and they yeah, discuss it right. themselves, really. Yeah. Now here's the lad, the little one. I look to now. Look to now that, that move, that two-handed spin that we just saw has just yeah. been bettered by that young guy there. Right. And the two-handed spin into a flare. So in a way they're in the lead at the moment. Yes. Yeah. Unless yeah. The, other, the other crew yeah. can better them. Right. It's a very competitive form of dancing. It's not a sort of... It's more like acrobatics than dancing, isn't it? Really? Yeah, yeah, I suppose you could say that. Anyway. And it's not a sort of... You wouldn't ask a girl to, to dance and to start doing that, That's would you right. really? That's right. It's more of a competitive sport in Britain. It's more of a sport, isn't it, yeah. rather than a, a dancing 
We did see uh, some girls doing this earlier on, Mini Force from Bradford, but yeah. uh, that was a, a previous uh, previous week. But it's not generally a thing that girls going for because of the competition, really, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. Competitive aspect of it. That's a good one. That is a yeah. good one, isn't it? Is that the best one so far? That 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 actually is the best one, best flare so far. All four together. No, that's, that's, that's interesting. That is interesting, isn't it? No, that's, that's when we say we look at the presentation. It's that type of thing that we look for. That is that all a good. That's something they've obviously worked out in practice, isn't it? Yeah, that's there? right. So, you know, with the four of them together, and now positive force is going to see if they can do have the same or better. Six of them together. That's right. We've got a new judge. You introduce yourself. I'm Andrew Collins for Smack 19. You're Smack 19 as well. Well known breakdancing crew. You've all been looking at it together. The guys from Smack 19, Harold Bomber Graham. I mean, that must have been incredibly difficult to uh, to break it up between those. It was those close, two. very, very close. I was fine. Yeah, they were both fine. good. Tell me, what did what get what really decided you at the end of the day? The speed. The speed. Yeah, the speed. Right, the speed of which one? Positive force. Positive force. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the winners. Force. One local crew through, will Street Crew make it in all Sheffield final, or will it be Body Beats from Doncaster at semi-final later? I think a lot of the people watching and want to uh, be wondering why the, um, the brakes have got the, the tongs of the trainers sticking out. It's just another a new style or a new way of wearing them. There's no reason for that. No reason at all for you. It just identifies you as being a breaker. Right. Is it, I imagine some of the, some of the uh, crews are black, some are white, some yeah. are both black and white. I mean, is there any uh, any difference in the way they dance? No, not at all, really. I mean, if you've got the, if, you, if you know what's happening and you've got the style, then you're just doing it simple as that. Right. Yeah, that's an interesting one. What's that? That's what you call a, a crab. A crab. Yeah. So we've got a crab and a worm. We've got a pretty well whole menagerie out there. And those are the beer mats come out yeah. again for the one headed one mats. Yeah. By the end of this uh, this series, I think I'll, I'll, I'll know the terms myself, you know. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to do them, but I'll know what they mean. It's going to be a hard judging job again, isn't it? Yeah, it is. More one handed spins. Interesting, sometimes they're quite relaxed the moves, aren't they? Quite yeah. slow moves. Yeah. They're not always fast and yeah. are they? No. That's a bit of popping there. Tell you what, on that bit of popping, uh, Winston, we'll have to go and find some more winners to join the uh, other team in the final. Okay, thanks. Junior, another expert from uh, Smack 19, the top uh, breakdancing group in this area. Another hard decision. Yeah, yeah, it was. But well, tell me what what sort of things you were looking for and what how you came to your decision. Well, this one was looking because the guys were young. We seen how they did, but um, that's body beats the way. Yeah, they're body beats. So you took allowance for the fact they were young from yeah. Doncaster. Right. So we decided that the um, street crowd much more style and they did more difficult moves. Street crew did the more yeah. difficult moves and they won it, have they? Yeah. Okay, doke there you are. That's the second semi-final. <laughs> And we've had some great action from our own young breakdance crews battling for these tracksuits. And this afternoon, it's the final. Judges Winston Hazel, Harold Bomber Graham and the Smack 19 team, one of the top crews in the country, are all at Sheffield Poly. And so is Martin Kellner. Right, Winston, it's finals time now, so uh, both local, both got the supporters here. It's going to be extra difficult, isn't it, to choose, right. the, choose the winners? Yeah, I've been talking to my members of Smack 19 and Bomber down there, and they're 
and this is that um, they're not really going to enjoy judging this one at all uh, because it's going to be so difficult to come to a conclusion. Whoever they choose, the supporters of the other, the other crew are going to be uh, upset. No, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Do, they, do the supporters actually follow the crews around the country back? back yeah, that's right. The yeah. other crews? We've, actually, we've also actually got a supporting crowd as well that follows around different places and there's lots of support. Right, right. So it's yourself, the fellow members of Smack Mountain, Harold Bonnegrove, you, you both into the discussion. Yeah, that's right. And that was a good move. Very good. As you can see now, what um, you haven't seen much in much of the other challenges is a lot of people coming out now and starting off with break dancing. And like I said before, that's just right. a bit of fast footwork before they go down onto the floor. That was a very bad error. It was an error there, wasn't yeah. it? It was. Yeah, so you put yourself in the limelight by walking to the end of the line before you started it. Yeah. Yes, the other crew are looking quite happy about his error there. Yeah. I think they've got, um, they're pretty nervous positive force after that stumble. Right. Oh, he's got his uh, hood up over his hat. Yeah. Uh, that's just people who spin on the head, so like different headwear. Yeah, that's right. I noticed some of the uh, some of the crews all you know have their integrated uniforms. They all have the same things on. Yeah. Uh, others have different ones. I mean, does that make any difference? Oh yes. Got a few it's points just, back there, positive for all that. Like that. It's just the, the the reason that they all wear some tracks so is just to be identified really. Right. There you have another spasm move. I noticed they also do a little point at the at the other crew when they. Yeah. Uh, Saying, and they've done a good move. It puts the other crew under pressure saying, right, what are you going to do? Yeah. Well, this is what they're going to do. And that's a really good body break in that. That's a body break. Yeah, I would have thought it a seesaw yeah. myself, but it's a body break. Yeah. Just getting some indications from members of Smack 19 down there. They like that move. Yeah. So, some good moves on both sides. A little bit of an error from Positive Force earlier on. And as you notice, when they are doing the break dancing, they dance to the other crew. Right, yes, I've noticed that, yeah. Saying, this is me, watch what I'm going to do. Right. And there was a good one, bit of gymnastics there. They're not going to show what body break it is, but... Well, I think we're going to have to come to a decision fairly soon, Winston. Oh, now that's... This is working into a great climax. Let's go and do some judging, Winston. Well, it's pandemonium here. It's almost impossible to make a decision. But Winston Hazel of our panel of judges is going to come on. Winston, if you'd like to come on over here. I know you'd you, you, you'd like to stay there all night making decisions, wouldn't yeah, you, Mr. Yeah, very, very difficult. Look, before you announce the winners of the panel, both Sheffield police, both got a lot of support here. A lot of very noisy support as well. And you're, not going to, you're going to make some enemies and you're going to make some friends. What have you been looking at in that final specifically? Well, mainly, oh, we, the only reason we, we think we, we came to a decision was for originality and, um, and just the way the routines were presented. Right. The way that the crews came out and put their souls on the floor. It was um, very difficult to spin yeah, them because you were yeah, both very good, yeah, weren't It was almost impossible, to yeah, yeah. But you had to make the decision yourself, your fellow members of Smack 19, Harold Bomber Graham, who's been with us right through the series judging them, and he's the non-expert. Who, what decision did you come to at the end of the day? Well, we actually thought that um, Street Crew came out with a really good routine, original moves, and this, this, they, they presented this thing, the whole thing really well. But Positive Force also, as well as presenting their, their moves very well, brought out some really, well, <laughs> mind-bending moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, so for that something extra, the winners of the Sounds Good Grey Dance Challenge is Positive Force. Well, congratulations to Positive Force. Our thanks to Winston and Smack 19. Let's hope they found some good opposition. Well done all the crews who took part. And good luck with your music. And that was the final program in the present series of Sounds Good. Next Thursday at 5.15, we join the survival team on the waterways of Britain.